السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Dear brothers and sisters, this is Gibb al-Rumani for the daily reminder. Brothers and sisters, everyone sins. We are people, we were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have the ability of doing good and doing bad. Sinning is human. The problem is when people start justifying their sins. We are humans, we commit mistakes. Allah, the Prophet said in the hadith, Kullu bani Adam khatta, Every son of Adam commits sins. The issue is that sin causes anxiety. Sin makes you blame yourself a lot of time. You feel this, this guilt feeling, you don't like it, it causes anxiety and so on. So it doesn't make you feel well. You feel like you're on the edge, you feel like you need to do something about it. And of course, the best thing is tawbah. And that's why the hadith continues, says, and the best of those who commit sins are those who make tawbah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who make tawbah, those who repent to Him. But the problem is that there's another avenue. What is it? People start justifying. So they don't feel this guilt. They start saying, well, maybe I'm not really sinning. Maybe I'm not really making, you know, committing a mistake or so on. Why is it? And this is very dangerous because it can lead to kufr to disbelief because you might deny a ruling a hukum of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us look at the ideal incident, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaching us the best lessons, the story of Adam and Iblis. What happened when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Iblis to prostrate to Adam? Iblis refused. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, what prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you. This is a commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's like you're reading the Quran and Allah is telling you something, Ya ladina amanu, do this, do that, and so on. So, and you're refusing. Iblis responded by justifying. He said, what? I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay. Iblis was justifying. I, didn't, I cannot bow to him. Yes, you are my creator. Yes, you are my Lord, but I'm not gonna listen. I'm justifying, I'm better than him. It's a justification, it's an excuse to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This made Iblis be who he is. We know that he is our enemy. Look at the same thing, Adam alayhi salam. He also was told to stay away from the tree and to eat from it fruits. What happened? He did, he ate. He disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again directly, just like Iblis did. What was the difference, brothers and sisters? The difference is that he said, Oh my Lord, they said him and Eve, we have wronged ourselves. And so, oh, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. And if you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we'll be amongst the losers, amongst those who are lost. Brothers and sisters, to sin is human, but to justify that sin is satanic, is devilish. And that is exactly the point that I want to make. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the most beautiful names and attributes. He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. What's wrong with our aqidah that we don't believe in it? Why do we have to try to justify our sins to make ourselves feel better? We have issues, yes, no doubt about it. But whenever we feel low, whenever we fall and we get knocked down, we need to get up. And how do we get up? First and foremost is we turn to our Creator, to our Lord. The hadith mentioned in Muslim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he will replace the people who do not sin. If, the, if there was a, per, a people, a qawm, who will not sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace them with people who sin and make tawbah, repent. And then sin and make tawbah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who make tawbah. The issue is, brothers and sisters, and this we need to understand, that our iman depends on us understanding the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Pay attention now, this is something so important because there is an extra step. This is the pinnacle of evil, that people will blame their mistakes on who? On Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even shaitan says that, that you are the one who misguided me. He tells that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at that, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds and tells these people in Surah 43 verse 20. وَقَالُوا لَوْ شَاءَ الرَّحْمَنُ مَا عَبَدْنَاهُمْ مَا لَهُمْ بِذَلِكَ مِنْ عِلْمٍ إِنْ هُمُ 
And they said, if it had been the will of the most merciful, we would have not worshipped such deities. People are justifying their shirk, that is the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds and says, of that they have no knowledge, they do nothing but lie. They have no clue what they're talking about. Allah is not you know, responsible for their shirk. Allah is not responsible for their sins and mistakes. They have no clue. They don't understand aqidah. They don't understand qadr. They don't understand the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mashiatullah. Brothers and sisters, be careful, be careful. Today we have brothers justifying. Oh, I don't want to go to Fajr. I'm too tired. Allah is, uh, He understands. He is our Rahman. We take even that mercy to an extreme. But we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shadidul liqab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is strict in punishment. You know, Allah will understand. I have to work at 8 o'clock. I don't have to go to Fajr at 5 a.m. I'll just sleep. I'll pray whenever I wake up. Sister says, I don't have to wear hijab. My heart is good. I have a good heart. I'm better than hijabis. Everyone's rationalizing it in a way or another. I'm listening to music because I don't find peace in prayer. I find, I've heard people saying, brothers and sisters, I find more peace in music than in salah. Subhanallah, subhanallah. People apostating, leaving the deen, dancing in churches and so on, thinking that this is how you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muslims, they feel more comfortable going to concerts, church concerts and so on and so forth, thinking that this is the way to go, this is the way to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or this is totally the wrong way. Brother and sister, just admit your mistake. Just admit your sin and be like Adam. Don't be like shaitan. Make tawbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept it and He loves those who make tawbah. He will love you. This is Gabe Arumani for the Daily Reminder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.